The youth ambassador with the Canadian Red Cross's Day of Pink is sharing her personal experience with bullying with the students here at the rally. But before we meet Chelsea, let's meet another young lady who is equally as passionate about this cause. 15-year-old Brooke Boutillier joined us in studio to talk about her new song, This Is Me, and its strong anti-bullying message. It's about that this girl or guy mm -hmm. is kind of upset at the start and they're hearing all these things that people are telling them online and towards the end of the song it kind of says like I realize who I am and I don't need you to tell me who I am and it's kind of just I'm gonna stand up for me and I'm not gonna play on your level and be a bully. I realize I am pretty I know I'm not a fool so go ahead and tell me, but it won't make you cool. I'm How did this passion start for you? Why did you want to do something about anti-bullying? Um, it all started when I was in grade eight, so two years ago, and it was based on Amanda Todd. Her story came out, and it just became a cause to me because I felt that was the first time that cyberbullying was brought to the community. It was the first time that like us as a society notice that like hey this is a big thing that's affecting our world now and when her story came out I just decided I was like I should do something about that I want to make a difference like she did then when Shaw introduced this contest about cyberbullying I decided to I should finish it so I did just last year Absolutely, and because of that, your dad actually is a Shaw employee here. He entered you into this contest that Shaw had about promoting this cause out in the community, and you won $500 to go towards something very special in your school. Explain to us how you got the school involved in this cause. Okay, so what we're doing with the $500 is I made a survey, so all my homerooms at school are putting 10 words onto the survey about what cyberbullying or anti-bullying means to them mm -hmm. and together with all these words we're putting up our mascot is a horse mm -hmm. so we're making this picture that's a horse and we're filling it with all these words that our school came up with together I just wanted to remind students of you're not alone mm -hmm. and I wanted to show that our school um, is a bullying free um, area and being 15 years old and being in that younger generation, explain to us from your point of view how much of an impact cyberbullying really can have on a person's life. To me, cyberbullying's um, one of the worst forms of bullying because I find it follows you. With like bullying at school, you're always free at home, but with cyberbullying, it's always there and it's gonna be there on the internet because nothing goes away. And I don't think my generation realizes that. So that's the problem with cyberbullying is it follows you wherever you go. You're exactly right. So what do you hope for your future with uh, this cause and, and incorporating it with your musical talents? I really want to get the word out and I want to produce like self-confidence and that you're not alone. I really want that message to go out there that during the time you might feel you're alone and it might be the end of the world for you, but it's really not. Everyone has a future and you can always start over whenever you like want to. Fantastic. Well, a huge thank you to you for uh, joining us in studio. You're a very talented, thank passionate you. young woman, so thank you so much. We'll be right back after the break, so make sure you stay tuned. Yeah.